we got ushered to a new dimension, which means we're dealing with newness of things, newness of vision. Everything becomes new. We all all things that pass away. We're seeing things differently, we're dealing with things differently because we're in a new dimension. But a new dimension means a level of faith. So the minute you get into that new dimension, God's going to give you a faith test. That's true. That's true. But the test is not to harm you. The, the test is to acclimate you to what you're dealing with in this new dimension. It's a little bit tougher than where you came from. Because you already passed through that. And what you stepped into now is a little bit different than that. So now this level that you're in, the, the wall that you're in, God said, I got to see if you get past this wall. Because everything is going to take you to get past this wall. You're going to need for the journey. Yes, yes. I'm going to say it again. If you're walking with me, gentle love this morning, say amen. Amen. If you, listen, if, if, if you're not here just to play church, say amen. amen. If you're looking for another dimension, you're looking for something different, you believe God's going to do something different in your life, say amen. amen. You have just been transitioned to another place. It has nothing to do with your goodness. It has nothing to do with your sin life. It has nothing to do with that. Because your relationship with God and the covenant that you're in does not include sin. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. What God did, what God told Joshua, read it. The men they got over to Jordan, the 40,000 men he took to fight, God said, the first thing I need for you to do is circumcise them. Because they had been in slavery. The ones who, who got circumcised in Egypt, they died in the wilderness. These people were born in the wilderness. They had not yet been circumcised. But God said, I can't take them forward unless they're covenant with me. So in order for them to be in covenant with me, because they have no law yet, the only covenant is Abraham's covenant. I need you to circumcise them because the circumcision is they're coming up with me under Abraham. Amen. Amen. You know what the problem is for us? Many of us are not in covenant with God because sin is too big an issue in your life. Amen. Not the sin that you do, the sin that you believe. Wow. Say it again. Two weeks ago in the church that we talked to you about sin and we put guilt on you. What I do is impossible to talk about sin and make you happy. Because in your covenant, there's no sin. Amen. 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 Thank God. Am I right, Jim? So first thing you got to do is get the covenant right. If you're walk with God. So if you feel guilty and condemned about your behavior, then you're not in covenant with God. Right. Because there's no condemnation in in Christ Jesus who walked out of the flesh, but out of the spirit. So you have to understand that if you're going to walk in the next day, you have to understand you have to receive and walk in the covenant. This is the covenant I came to circumcise somebody. This is the covenant I will make with them after those days, said the Lord. I will place my laws upon their hearts and their minds, but I write them and their sins and iniquities, but I remember no more. So if I'm going to walk forward through this wall, I can't go burdened with sin. That don't mean my behavior is going to change that much. It's going to change over time. But then the sin is not my focus. I'm not going to serve sin. I'm going to walk in freedom from sin. So when I smoke a cigarette, it still ain't sin. But I gotta cuss you out. I'm working on it, I ain't cussing a long time. It's still not sin. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm gonna take the service this morning. So now we have come to this place where we have, where you've crossed over, but this wall is in your way. And you wondering what you did wrong. My mind. And you heard the prophecy. And you wonder if the prayer life failed you. And you wonder if the word the apostle saying is true. You're going through all these things because you're shifting. Mm -hmm. And you're in a new dimension. And God says, I have to teach you faith for this dimension. <laughs> My God, that is so true. The faith you used in the last yes, dimension sir. is familiar now. So true. This kind of faith that I'm teaching you is unfamiliar yes. faith. This is the kind of faith that you're going to believe without seeing anything at all. Yes, the last faith, you have something <laughs> to say to you. But this faith right here, you need to believe without seeing anything at all. Jesus said, bless the those who believe when they say, but more bless the those who believe in our state. Yes, sir. God, I guess I feel like preaching here. God said, tell them, Charles, that I'm bringing them to a place in another dimension, another stage of living, but they just got to believe me for yes, shit. Yes, My God, if I say it, they just got to stand it. If I say it, they just got to stand it. If I say it, they just got to believe me because I said, that's where God is taking you. Then they box him out. My, my. See, in a new dimension, it's got a supernatural exist. Wow. Supernatural is not everywhere. But when God just shifted this ministry, he said, I'm 
have shifted you where the supernatural exists. Yeah, glory. glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. So now I'm going to take faith. Another level of faith. Another dimension of faith to live in this dimension. The devil you going to see now. I don't want you to stand before. So right about it. New level. New devil. New devil. If you're there, say amen. So right about it. I want to encourage you this morning. There's nothing wrong. You just got shifted. And you've been in this new dimension. And God says, I have to teach you faith for this dimension. That's why you're faced with things you cannot control. I'm just a humble apostle. If I'm talking to you right now, and there's something facing you that you can't do nothing about, please clap your hands and let God know that you hear this word this morning. Don't worry about the people next to you. You know you can't do nothing about it. You know they're in your control. God gave me a word this morning that I set you up to be in it. And all I want you to do is believe me. And if you believe me, what before you, I'm going to tear it down right in your face. Thank you. 